Hey everyone, Animal Man here. Today we're going to talk about throwing sticks. Stay with us. So whenever I go out to practice my survival skills, one of the first things that I do is find a suitable throwing stick. And this is not just to, for a throwing stick. This is so many different things. This is, yeah, it's a throwing stick for food. It's a club. Um, I can use this with my knife to, uh, to baton, to, uh, to split wood or carve things or whatever. And um, I can use this as a digging stick. This one actually has a great, great tip on it right there you can see for digging, for digging roots, root vegetables like burdock, things like that. Um, There's so many uses for one of these. And um, that's why this is one of the first things you pick up. I prefer a hardwood, but you find whatever you can find. And I jam it between two uh, trees or two branches that are like a, like a fork. And you jam it in there to crack it off exactly where you want. And that's how you get this. So what I look for is a little bit smaller than my wrist. If you look at my wrist like that way, it's thicker. That way, it's thinner. If you look at that. It's kind of similar. It's a little bit thinner than my wrist. And you look for armpit to wrist or armpit to the tip of your fingers. If it's a heavier wood, I would tend to go on the shorter side and go maybe armpit to wrist. But this is very, very dry, very old. It's not rotted or anything, which is very, very dry and light. So I went on the longer side. That way, if I want to use it as a club, it extends my reach. And it's got these little nubbins on the, on the end also, which you can use. And then this one, I didn't break it off on purpose like this, but it just broke off so it has a tip, which is perfect for digging with and for trying to pop those roots out of the ground. So when I carry this around, sometimes I'm trying to travel quickly. I have this little strap here on my pants. These are 511 tactical pants. And I kind of just stick it right in there like that. You can see how, how it sits. Okay, and then if I want to grab it, I just pull it out and I can use it. But if I'm actually hunting, if I'm actively hunting for something, you know, an animal for food or whatever, you want this in your hand. I'm right handed, I can throw with either one, but I'm a lot more accurate and I can throw faster and stronger with my right hand. <clears throat> so I will have this in my right hand. I'm not walking around, I'm not going to walk around with it, you know, like this and scratching my neck with it and and dangling it by my side and you know hitting things as I go I'm carrying it in the ready position and for me that is on my right shoulder and not like this I just want to show you how I do this not like this you want it more in like this and I'll explain why in a second let me move the camera alright guys so if I'm walking through the woods with my throwing stick I'm going to have it in the ready position on my shoulder like this. Again, not out here, not in the middle. You know, kind of like maybe a fist. You can fit a fist between my shoulder and my fist like this. And that is because you're going to use your shoulder as a lever to launch this thing. Now, what most people do when they want to use one of these or they use a rock is they pull back. You know, if you're going to throw this, you're what you're inclined to do is you want to pull back like you're throwing a baseball or something and just that motion right there the pulling back any shot you had at that animal is gone because they see that before you even let go they're already processing that and they're starting to move out of the way so you're gonna miss almost every time that's why you have the ready position and you're not pulling back to get you're not pulling back to all the way back here to get your momentum and your power you're actually gonna you're going to be ready and you're going to pull down off your shoulder and act, you know, use your shoulder as a lever and that's how you get the speed from a standstill. Not moving, there's no pullback, okay? Just like this, I'm still. And see how fast that can be instead of, instead of like this, okay? Contrast the two of these. Watch the difference here. So here's the normal way people would try to throw this, okay? Versus I'm not going to move at all. Use my shoulder as a lever. See, it's faster and you don't see it coming. So, 
Now, when we throw, I'm going to throw at that dead tree right there, right in the middle of the screen there. So there's two basic throws for throwing stick. There's the over the shoulder, okay, which is the upright throw. And this is great for if you're in a forest like this with lots of trees going up and down. It can spin, you know, in between trees if it has to, in between branches, not get stuck. And also, this is my normal ready position anyway. So this is like my go-to normal way of throwing. And it looks like this. Hopefully you guys can still see the tree. All right. And when you practice this, the point is not to move your body at all before you're actually going to crank that right off your shoulder. Even still, I still want to want to pull back, you know? It's really hard to break that habit. Try one more time. Oh, I broke the stick. I like you. All right. Now we're going to do the sidearm throw. This is uh, in my shelter, which is right behind the camera right there, like 10 feet back. This is from my firewood pile. So I'm kind of annoyed that I broke my good stick. I've been carrying the stick around all day. So for the sidearm. The sidearm is not as good in a forest like this because if you throw it like this, it rotates like a frisbee or like a boomerang and you're more likely to hit a tree and bounce off and ricochet and things get in the way. Um, even just leaves might get in the way. The good thing about this, what I like is if you're aiming for something like a bird on the ground or a squirrel or a chipmunk on the ground, if you do it just right, you can skim across the ground with it and it'll keep on going. So with that, I feel like if something's on the ground, if you throw it with, you know, the normal um, up and down throw, that it's gonna like, you know, hit the ground and like go do the somersault thing and be off. But if you do the sidearm for the ground, you know, it might keep on going. Also for the water, you know, if you wanna get um, some distance, and if you want to throw this, you know, over the water at like a duck or something, this may skim over the water a little bit better. And again, these are just the basic sticks. There are m many modifications you can do to make these fly even better for certain situations. So here is the sidearm, side throw. Again, I'm going to aim at that, that dead uh, tree right there, right in the middle. Okay. Now this one, I'm using more like my shoulder blade as the lever and I'm gonna go off my shoulder blade like that. Again, I'm not gonna, I'm resisting the temptation to do the, the, the drawback, the pullback thing that everybody always wants to do. That it's like, it's ingrained in us, you know, from you learning how to play catch when you're a kid. It's like, you, you wanna do that. It's, it's, you know, you do this to save energy, to make it more accurate, all that. But the problem is with hunting, you see it coming. It's just like drawing a bow, you know, if you're a bow hunter, I'm a bow hunter. If you draw back, you have to draw super slow because deer get spooked just on the draw back, even if you do it slow. So off my shoulder blade. And again, I'm gonna I'm gonna try not to pull back. I'm gonna use my shoulder blade and let it let it fly. I'm gonna wing it. So I'm not anywhere near as used to doing the sidearm as I as I am doing the uh, a normal throw. Broke that one too. All right. So I'll call that another good solid hit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and learned a little bit. It's a lot of fun to play with these in the backyard. You know, I've taught kids by standing up firewood all in a row and using the side throw to knock down the firewood. It's kind of a cool thing to do in your backyard away from the house. And uh, there are many different modifications you can do to make these go faster, farther, skim off water, make them actually gain a little bit of lift so they go further. It's kind of cool. And um, 
There's also many different ways you can change these that Native people would use for war, for war clubs, war time. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed to Animal Man Survivor. Peace. I'm gonna pick up my throwing sticks.